guys was so this is place the movie fan and before I get into the main subject of the video there is one thing that I want to discuss first that's the fact that the amazing atheist recently changed his name to TJ Kirk According to him, he was forced to change his name. And you know what? I believe him. Yeah, even though I hate him, I'm not gonna let that cloud my judgment. Now there are some people who called him out for being wrong about the fact that atheist is the word that they aren't allowed to use in their YouTube usernames. Now I don't think that means that he's lying. I think that means that he was just wrong to assume that atheist is the word that people aren't allowed to use in their usernames. Yep, I don't think he was lying at all in that video. I personally prefer his new name over his old one because his old name was so fucking egotistical. I always hated his name except when I used to like his content in 2011 and earlier. But after I started disliking the guy, I always hated his name. Now being proud of yourself is one thing, but calling yourself amazing is very fucking arrogant. With that being said, now it's time to get to the main subject of the video. Now TJ Kirk has been e-packing recently, which isn't that surprising as he has been doing it for a very long time. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what he did back in 2009. Back then he asked people for money so he can buy a computer. But the thing is, back then he had more than enough money to buy a computer on his own. So why did he ask his viewers for money for his computer? It was very fucking pathetic. And by no surprise, a lot of people called him out for it back then. But recently he did something similar, you see, he made a movie review of the movie Suicide Squad and is expecting his viewers to pay four fucking dollars in order to see a movie review. Look, I get it, reviews with clips do take a long time to make. I should know because I make spoiler movie reviews all the time and it usually takes me at least two days to make them. However, that does not justify expecting your viewers to pay four fucking dollars to see a review. A movie review on the internet isn't even worth one dollar since we usually go to the internet to see someone's opinions on a movie. Look, I get it, YouTube has been demonetizing a lot of videos that aren't advertisers friendly and because of that you can't really make a living off YouTube anymore. But that does not justify expecting your viewers to pay $4 just to see a review. It just proves how much of a greedy cunt you are and not to mention a scumbag. TJ Kirk, by the low chance that you are someone watching this video, go fuck yourself, seriously. The fact that people are required to pay four dollars just to see a review is beyond fucking pathetic. And to make worse worse, your reason for expecting people to pay four dollars is beyond fucking petty. You say people should pay four dollars because trust me the video is great. No, that is not a valid reason to expect people to pay four dollars just to see a fucking review. Your viewers are not made out of money. Now I could make a commentary on that review but I'm not gonna do it for one major reason. Anyone who wants to see the original video to see if I took anything out of context or not cannot see the original video without paying $4 as well. And I am not expecting my fans or viewers to do that because I have something called human decency. Which is something that you obviously don't have TJ Kirk. Now before I end this video there is one thing that I want to talk about. I have made a playlist titled Places Videos on TJ Kirk. And on that playlist you can see all the videos that I made on him in the past. With an exception of one video that I made somewhere in 2009. That video is currently unlisted on my secondary channel. I haven't moved it to my archives yet but I might do it eventually. 
But besides that one video, every other video that I made on them is on that fucking playlist, including the video that you're watching right now. So if you want to see any other videos that I made on him, link to it is in the video description below. That both includes videos when I'm critical on him and videos that I made back when I was a fan. So go check it out. Also, a link to the trailer video is in the video description below. And I hope you can agree with me what teacher was doing was beyond fucking pathetic. Well guys, that's all I could say. Thank you for watching. Have a great